Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm going to show you how to take the hologram Nova cellular modem and transmit data from just about anywhere on the planet to the Google Cloud platform. If you want to jump ahead, here are the timestamps. First, we're going to have a very quick overview of the architecture. Then we're going to send a very short message, just a sanity check, from a hologram Nova to the hologram cloud. Then we're going to work kind of backwards. We're going to first build the cloud function in Google. Then we're going to set up Google PubSub. Then we write the hologram code itself. And you'll see that working backwards actually makes us a much simpler process. And finally, we're going to simulate the hologram cloud. Now, the simulation is really important because whenever we use a hologram Nova, we get charged for it. So as you do your development, I'm going to show you how you can simulate the hologram cloud and not be charged for any communication. I'm going to start with the Raspberry Pi, and I have plugged into it my hologram Nova. All communications will go through that cell modem, and it goes to the hologram cloud. We're going to set up hologram cloud routes so that it transfers all the data to us quickly and cheaply to Google Cloud Functions. Hologram isn't able to store an API key, so Google Cloud Functions steps in, and from there, we can send it anywhere else. I'm going to send it to PubSub. I really suggest doing this because if any of your systems go down, PubSub will store those messages for seven days and you won't lose any of your data. From there. We're going to send a heartbeat just to make sure that the SIM card is set up. And if not, go into the description and there's a link for this. Just sudo hologram send hi. And when we run this, you'll be able to go over to your dashboard.hologram.io, go over to usage, and you'll see that the message came out. Even easier, because this is a little delayed, is at the bottom, you can click on All Activity, and it will pop up, and it will show you the message you've just sent. Next, we're going to go to Google Cloud and go to Console. To create a cloud function, just go to the top bar and type Cloud Function and choose that. Right now, it's setting up the API so we have access to write cloud functions. I actually don't have to create the function here. By all means, create it on the browser. I'm going to create it on my computer. If you want to create this in the browser, it's already set up. You can just make any function name, choose your region, and it will be a trigger of HTTP. You want to allow unauthenticated and click Save. I'm going to show you how to do this on your own computer. So what I'm going to do is open Visual Studio Code. So I'll make a folder called Cloud Function. And we need two files. The first one is a requirements.txt file. Inside there, the cloud function is only going to be reliant on Google Cloud PubSub. And then the second file has to be called main.py. First, I'm going to import all my libraries. I'm going to tell it to create a publisher for PubSub. And inside the Git environment, I have to tell it the hologram project I'm building. So to make sure I'm actually using the right name, I'll go to the terminal and I will check what project I'm working on. So it's gcloud config git dash value project. And I'm on the wrong project. So to switch that, I'll type gcloud projects list to see all of my projects. And there I have my hologram project. So now my project is ready to take a cloud function and publish to PubSub. And from here, I want to have a cloud function called hologram to PubSub. Now in the hologram cloud routes, we're going to be passing all of our information in request.data. So we're going to pull that in, and we're going to make sure that that actually passed data properly. If not, we end here. Otherwise, we're going to log this data. From there, we're going to take the string data, turn it to JSON. We'll log it to make sure everything's right. And then I'm going to pass in three things, sensor name, temperature, and humidity. And I will grab all of that information from the data that comes from Hologram Cloud, and I'll print it out. Now, there's a few ways that Hologram Cloud route allows us to pass data, and I'm leaving this code commented out. But there is a key value pair that the route allows, and if you like to use that, use this code. From there, everything below is moving the data from a cloud function to cloud PubSub. So as you're going to see next, I'm going to create a cloud PubSub topic called hologram, and we're going to publish this message to our hologram topic with the following data. PubSub needs everything to be encoded. PubSub gives us what's called a future. If it worked right, we get the future result. If not, we print an error. Otherwise, we print a successful message with code 200, and the cloud function is done. I'm going to make sure I'm in the right project. So it's gcloud config set project, and then I will grab the name of it and press enter. So the way that we upload the function is by typing gcloud functions deploy, and then your function name, dash dash runtime, and then whatever runtime you want. I want Python 3.9, dash dash trigger dash HTTP, and finally dash dash allow dash unauthenticated. And just make sure that when you run this command, you are in the directory for your cloud function itself with main.py. 
Okay, the first time that you try to deploy any function, it's going to fail, but it gives you a link. So I'm gonna grab the link in my, in my terminal. I'll go to that address and I just have to enable the API. Okay, cloud build, I'll click enable and I'll run the exact same command and this should take about two minutes. Okay, it's deployed and when I wanna use this, I just look up to HTTPS triggers. That is the URL we'll be using. I'm gonna grab this and I'll just put it into the text pad for right now. Now it's time to set up PubSub. So up top, I'm just gonna type PubSub, click it, I'll create a topic. The topic's gonna be called Hologram and I'll add a default subscription. I'll click Create Topic and my topic and subscription have been created. All I'm gonna do now is click View Messages. I'll choose that subscription we just created, Hologram-Sub, and whenever a message comes in, you can just click Pull. Now we're gonna write the code that actually uses the Hologram Nova cellular modem. So I'm gonna create another folder and I'll call this Hologram Nova and inside of it, just one Python file called nova.py. So first thing, I'm gonna import my libraries. Then I'm gonna connect directly to the Hologram cloud. Next, I wanna be able to connect to the network, let it tell me if there's an error, and disconnect. And in between these two bits is where all of our code goes. Okay, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna hard code all of my sensor readings. So I'm gonna have a dictionary, basically a JSON object, of what's my sensor name, what's the temperature, and what's the humidity. Then I will create a JSON object of this, and I'm gonna send that to the hologram cloud. So hologram, send message, my sensor readings, then I'm gonna give it the topic of my actual sensor. Now I've left one more line in here. If you don't want to use a dictionary and you just wanna use plain text, this is what it would look like. I'm gonna comment that out. We're gonna get the result, print it, and that is all the code we need to use. So, and now this data is going to go over to the hologram cloud and I need it to be routed over to Google. So to do that, I'll go to dashboard.hologram.io. I'll click on my routes. I'm going to create a new route and the nickname YouTube hologram. So the topic, I'm just going to choose the device itself. I'm going to go to the advanced webhook builder. The destination URL came from our terminal. I'll go grab that path. I'll drop it in. Now for the payload, it's bracket bracket deck data or decoded data. You can also use the headers. And here you'd say my key equals my value. We're not gonna do this, but this is one of the commented lines in the code that we just ran through. Now we're gonna add route. And now whenever my Nova passes data to the hologram cloud, this route intercepts it and sends it to Google Cloud. Okay, so now to run this, I've just run it on my Raspberry Pi, but I'll show you the exact command. For me, it was sudo python3, and maybe just python for you, nova.py. Okay, to see if this worked, all you have to do is go back to Cloud Functions. I'm gonna type Cloud Functions, click it, and I have my hologram to PubSub function. I'll click that. I'll go to Logs, and it's now 7 p.m., so I'm looking for 1900. At 1902, I got the sensor name, the temperature, the humidity. It pulled everything out, just like we were printing them. And so now I know that it came to the Cloud function. I can go over in my next tab to PubSub, choose Pull, and at 7.02, I got my message, which says there's a sensor reading, it has all the values, and it has every single value listed, and we can scroll past and we see everything. Now, the last thing I wanna show you, I'm gonna show you how to not use your Nova and simulate it. Still get everything to Google Cloud. Okay, for that, we're gonna make one more folder, and I'm gonna call it Hologram Cloud Simulator. And inside one file called sim.py. So what this is gonna do is make the exact same HTTP request that Hologram Cloud passes to Google Cloud. So we don't have to push data through our modem to Hologram to send to Google. The first thing I'll do is I'll add my libraries, and then I'm gonna compartmentalize this. If I'm in the main function, which I will be, send message to Google Cloud, and I have that function listed out. And then all I need to do is say what my URL is. That's the URL to our cloud function. Then I'll set up my data, my headers, and I'll say request.post. I'll go to that URL, pass in the data with my headers, and then I'll print my response. That is enough so that we can simulate the hologram cloud without being charged for the cellular modem use. If you wanna see more on how to use Cloud PubSub, watch this video. And Thanks for watching.